Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day and today's video is going to be a declutter. So I try to do this four times a year, I try to do every three months. So I think it's about time for another declutter. I try to just keep my collection kind of down and since I've been doing like these palette focused, like I'm going to focus on these products, these palettes this month kind of thing, I realize there's a lot in my collection I didn't want to throw too much into a month. That I like, I really think I'm gonna focus on. I think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna get that much use out of some of these products. So I think it's time for another declutter. This is not a declutter where I get rid of everything in my collection. It's not one of those. We're just gonna help weed through, get rid of some things. And I'll list these things on Poshmark. And I'll also have my Depop listed because things that are like, I have another storage unit in this filming area that has like brand new stuff I never opened. A lot of it's from subscription boxes and things like that, or like gifts of purchases or things that it's never used. So like a bunch of bundles and stuff that I have, I'm just going to throw on Depop so you don't have to pay for a whole bunch of shipping. So both of those things will be linked down below if you want any of these things. And let's go ahead and clean up my collection so I can focus on actually using the things that I really want to use. Alright guys, so I already started a basket of, these are the new stuffs that aren't going to go in bundles. These are the new things that are going to be listed individually. So I'm going to add to this basket as we go. Um, and again, all the bundle pieces will be like brand new stuff, but this is the stuff I'm just going to put on D like um, Poshmark. So here we go. Um, we're not going to open every single palette because again, this isn't like a giant massive declutter. We're just going to like pick through and find things I want to declutter. So um, we have my Jeffree Star and Morphe palettes, the Jawbreaker palette, Blood Sugar palette, and then we have the singles from ColourPop. I'm going to declutter this. I tried it once. I tried two shades. Like, I think I swatched this shade, the blue shade, and that was it. So, I'm going to get rid of this. It was kind of expensive, but it's, it's very nice. Um, it's very pretty. But I have a lot of other rainbow palettes, and I wouldn't reach for this. But I need to figure a way to ship it so it doesn't break. So, I'll figure that out, too. But this is going. Um, the blood sugar, uh, the blue blood palette's going to stay over here with the blood sugar palette. Um, Nikolai, I'm going to get rid of the, I don't know. See, I really like this Folklore palette because it has the really unique shades in here. And this shade was so beautiful in that review I did of this palette. But I have the Alter Ego version. This looks like a Huda Beauty palette, the new nude palette. But I like the Alter Ego one better. So I'm going to declutter this one but keep the Alter Ego one. But I do really like this version. So I don't need two versions of the same dupe palette. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Just because the Alter Ego one is really, really good. Um, and I think the Sunrise one from folklore has been sold out for a while um oh I love this palette the young wild and cruelty free the unleashed palette I'm gonna keep this for a while um the Bessame mermaid lagoon I ordered this from their website and I fell in love and the packaging is everything and it's the cutest thing I've ever seen but I only tried it once and I think I just used one shade I think I just used this shade and I haven't touched it and I have zero oh I touched this shade too these two. I have zero desire to use this. I have the box for this and the brush is still in the plastic. But it's so pretty. I feel bad about it. Because look, it's so, it's the most beautiful palette I think I own. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile because it is stunningly beautiful and I adore it. But I don't think I'd use it. What's the point of keeping makeup you don't use? Sigma Enchanted. I love the colors in here. I want to get more use out of this one. So I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Um, I'm going to keep all my Alter Ego ones because they're really nice, like, affordable palettes I can use in videos. Um, 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 another Alter Ego. The Bright Lights by Pinky Rose Cosmetics. I was so excited about this when I first got it. And it is so bright and it's so pretty. But when would I reach into this? Let me see if there's a bright green in the Jawbreaker. Because if there's, like, if I have another one of these neon greens I don't need this but I don't know if I have a green that's that bright I don't think I do I mean that's pretty bright but it's not the same so we're gonna go through the rest of my collection and if we see another lime green shade we'll get rid of this but it's gonna go maybe until then I wish hands palette from sugar pill never leaving pastel goth I think it's time to let it go it's so pretty but I just never reached for it. And you can't get any more, so it's hard for me to use in videos. So I'm going to pass this along. All these palettes will be sanitized, too, if I sell them. Extra, uh, the Gingerbread Spice palette. Keeping, love it. I need to get the Extra Spicy. Even though it's the same thing, so I couldn't bite the bullet on it. I'm waiting until it's on sale. 
soft glam. I love soft glam, but I don't know the last time I used it. I'm going to keep soft glam and I'll get rid of modern renaissance. I've had it forever. It is stunningly beautiful. But I have a lot of other warm palettes now and if I was going to reach for a warm palette, I'd probably go to blood sugar before modern renaissance. So I'm going to keep soft glam. That'll be my only Anastasia palette. I'm going to get rid of modern renaissance. Um, Celestial Thunder, I'm going to part ways with because I have multiple of these. I don't need this one. This is the one I try to do. I use a tutorial on on my Instagram. I love the shimmers. Like, this shade is absolutely stunning. But the mattes aren't my favorite in the world, and this color scheme doesn't really appeal to me that much. So, I'm going to part ways with this. I'm definitely keeping my friend Cation. But do I need friend Cation and Soft Glam? I mean, I don't. I really don't need Soft Glam. I know I don't need it. I know I probably won't use it. I don't know why I'm keeping it. <laughs> um, Midnight Masquerade is new. I'm going to keep that. Sweet Talk. I'm going to part ways with it. It's stunning. It's beautiful. I love everything about it except the pressed glitters. But I have other peachy palettes. The packaging is just what I really want. The packaging is the most gorgeous packaging of anything. It's so beautiful. But I'm going to get rid of it. Um, Brunch Dates. Really, really pretty. But I really am just keeping it for this shade right here. Which is called French Toast. But I have the very similar color to this in my Life's a Drag palette by Linda Beauty. So I'm going to part ways with this one even though it's super cute. Um, Colored Rain, Queen of Hearts. Never leaving anywhere just because it's iconic. And then my Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag I'm keeping as well because I love it. Y'all want to apologize for the beginning of this video. I brought my umbrella lights in here and forgot to cut it on. And I was like, why is there so many shadows? I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I hope, the I hope I can edit the lighting okay in that first half. Um, but let's move on to the next part of the declutter. My Z palettes, I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep the Flamingo palette. This doesn't have a green in it. Still looking for that lime green shade. Um, never getting wrong with Gwen Stefani palette. I'm going to get rid of the Misha Lau Witchcraft. I love it. But I put it in my month last month to use and I didn't. So I'm going to part ways with this one. I'm going to keep my Jeffree Star palettes, which is these three. I'm going to part ways with the Nikki Tutorials um, Power of Makeup because I used it for a video and that was kind of the point of me buying it. So I'm going to part ways with it. Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions. It's adorable. If I can open it. It's adorable. But I'm going to part ways with it. I love mauve, you guys, but these didn't blend the way I wanted them to. But the shimmers are the most beautiful shimmer. Okay, I'm going to part ways with it even though it's the mauve obsessions. I love mauves. <laughs> I just don't need it if I'm not going to use it. Um, I have this little mini Petite Pro Visart palette I'm going to keep. It's a good travel palette. If I really wanted to use those kind of ready shades, I could dip into these. And the Elf and J Kissa palette, I'm also... I'm going to keep it because I don't think I could really get anything for it because it's so cheap already but I'm gonna keep these two little tiny palettes that has a bright green in it that's a bright green let's compare it's not at all the same green yeah that's not at all the same green okay we'll keep looking for another green but I'm gonna keep both of these I don't ever use these but I'm gonna just I'm gonna keep them anyways Alright, next up I am going to declutter the Jessica Rabbit and Ciate London palette. I love it just for the packaging alone. And the packaging feels very nice. The color scheme is really cute, but I just never reach for it. And half of, or like a third of it is purple. And I'll wear purple eyeshadow. So I'm going to part ways with it even though it's the cutest packaging on earth. Um, There's some greens in here. This is the NYX Ultimate palette. Again, it's not as lime as the Pinky Rose Green at all. We might end up keeping that Pinky Rose palette. I love this. There was one shade in here. I think it was this lavender because I didn't think about the pastel gloss shade. I was looking for a lavender shade and this one kind of saved me on that. So I'm going to keep it as having a rainbow palette but I don't reach for it that often. I don't ever need like a very very specific color in here. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to, uh, never mind. I'm thinking of our ways with it. It's good to have in case you need any of these colors, but when do I ever need a color I can't find somewhere else? So it's... I'm going to part ways with it even though it kind of hurts because this palette's so cute. 
but I, I just never use it. Um, next up, the Midas Cosmetics Lemonade Palette. You may be surprised that I'm going to declutter this. I bought it. I reviewed it. I love yellow eyeshadow with a passion. I just have other yellow shades that I reach for more. These are very light sunflowery shades. I'm more towards the yellow golden shade. This shade also is like a really pretty gold to, yellow to me. But after the Uh Huh Honey palette came out, which is by ColourPop and really affordable, really easy to get, I haven't reached for this. Um, because I have so many other yellows in my collection, I prefer more, but I do love this as a yellow palette. It performs nicely, but there are other yellows that talk to me more. And I am a yellow person, like I love yellow eyeshadow. Next up, I'm going to keep both of my Max of the Makeup palettes. I'm going to keep the Mini Breaker palette from Jeffree Star just to have all the Jeffree Star palettes, but I haven't reached for this since I reviewed it because most of it's purple. These two shades I want to get a lot of use out of. So one of these like month collections I need to put this palette in there and use it again. Because I basically reviewed it and left it alone and I hate doing that. I am going to part ways with my Suba Beauty Saffron palette. It is absolutely stunning. I don't know if I used this one. I think I used this one once. Maybe. Yeah, I think I used this one once. I've had multiple of these. And I'm going to part ways with it. It is the most gorgeous formula in the world. It's so soft. It's so buttery. It's so beautiful. But I, 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 it needs to go. Um, the Maybe Take Me to Istanbul. I forget ever buying this. I feel like I bought it when it first, first launched, like on my phone and forgot about it. I think we used it in a first impressions video. And since it's not that memorable, the formula, I think when we did that for Get Ready With Me video, it wasn't that memorable of a formula to me. So it's just, it's, it's going to go, but it's cute. Uh, the Block Party palette, this is a bright green in it, but it's a, it's more of a different kind of green. I'm going to keep the Block Party palette. I love the Block Party palette. I love the Saffron palette too. But this shade and this shade right here are just really beautiful shades. And I love the Super Beauty, like, quality. But I have other warm palettes. Next up is the Violet Voss Essentials palette. I'm going to declutter this. I put it in like my go-to colors. Oh, I really like that color though. I put this in my go-to palette last month and I didn't really reach for it. So that's a sign that I don't need it. Uh, next up, Off Tropic palette. I'm going to keep this because Betty G and Butte Bean gave it to me. And I like that orange shade. Uh, what is this? The, ooh, Beauty by Stony Remedy eyeshadow palette. I just used this for a Unique Shades video, but I think I'm going to let it go just because I never reached for it personally, but this shade is the most amazing thing ever. It's so freaking beautiful. I love that shade. It's like a squishy jelly. It's pretty, but I don't reach for this, and the color scheme doesn't really speak to me other than that one shade, so I don't need to keep it for one color. I'm going to keep my Max Up The Makeup Weather Weather palette. I am an affiliate. This has a bright green in it, too. It's not a neon green. Not a neon green, but pretty green nonetheless. Uh, the Dragon Child palette from Makeup Monsters. It was a gift, so I'm going to keep this. It's a nice color scheme. It really is a nice piece of color scheme. Makeup Monsters is now Menagerie. Um, the Misfit Beauty Company Castle on a Hill Ever Scissor Hands palette. Can I tell you how much I love Ever Scissor Hands? Can I tell you how much I love Ever Scissor Hands? But I am going to declutter this, and I just got it. I had fun using it. This color is so pretty. Oh my god, that color is so beautiful. What is that color called? Avon Calling. That color is everything. I just want that color. I waited months for this palette. I was so excited for this palette. I spent 40 something dollars and waited months to even like see like the cover or anything. And the quality is good. But I was really just excited about the theme, and this color story doesn't seem cohesive enough to me. I feel like if I have heard these colors already, there's no point in me keeping it. But if you don't have these colors, it's really, really beautiful. And the quality is good. Like, you can mix some these peachy shades together, that brown. And, oh, okay. I'm going to declutter it. I did add tape so the sticker doesn't come off, but I tried it once. I waited so long for it, and maybe that has, like, a little bit of spite in my mind. Like, I, I understand things happen, especially with indie brands, but... I don't know. I love Ever Scissor Hands, but I just, I'm not excited about using this. Uh, this is the other palette I got rid of the Focal World Fund for because it's the Alter Ego version of that new nudes palette by Huda Beauty. <laughs> Next up, Rock California Dreaming. 
I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna put it in my palettes next month probably to try to use it more. Because it's old, but I love. Naked Cherry, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to declutter Naked Cherry. Naked Cherry, I saw you when you first got announced and I fell in love with you. I bought you the second you launched on their website and I spent 50 something dollars on you plus shipping. And I really enjoyed using you the first couple times. And with purple hair, this is a pretty color scheme. And I don't have too many Zimbabwe shades. But half the looks I use with this look the same. But I love it. But every time I put it in a drawer to make myself use it, I forget to. So I'm going to declutter it. I might change my mind about this one. But as of right now, I'm decluttering Naked Cherry because I just don't use it. It was just so much money though. Um, I have three Kaleidos palettes here. I'm going to be keeping all three of these. I have a Kristen Leanne Daydream palette and I'm going to declutter this one as well. Oh, we forgot this stack. Um, this is the Spoiled Cosmetics Donut Palette. I haven't had a chance to play with this yet, so I'm going to be keeping this. Uh, the Daydream Palette by Peach Beauty Co. I don't remember using this. It looks like I swatched the shade in this shade. I don't remember using this. I'm going to look, see if I have a video using this or not, because I don't think I do. I'm going to declutter it. I don't know. I don't, I'm just going to declutter it. I don't know how I have this. Alright. Um, my last three Jeebus Place palettes, I like bought every single one of them, forgot to use them, and then decluttered most of them except these three. So the Doce palettes, I think I've been keeping it for that green shade, but I have a very, very similar green shade in my Suba Beauty Block Party palette, so I'm going to be decluttering this one, even though it's really cute. And I'm going to be keeping the Zulu palette, because this is my favorite Juvia's Place palette. That's a bright green. It's not a matte. But it is a bright, bright green. Not the same. Not the same green at all. Not the same green. I'm going to keep it. I love this so much. And then we have the Warrior palette, which is so pretty. I don't know when I... Let me compare to Soft Glam because I love both of these palettes, but do I need both of them? Alright, I'm going to get rid of Soft Glam. Am I saying that? Am I saying I'm getting rid of Soft Glam right now? I just don't need it, right? But this one has orangier shades. I don't know. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get rid of Soft Lamb. It's gonna happen. I feel bad about it. But I'm gonna get rid of- I don't have any Anastasia palettes anymore. I got rid of them all. Wow. Shocking. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna keep Warrior now. Boom. I only have two Juvia's Place palettes now. And no Anastasia palettes. It's so weird, but if you- I mean, if I'm not using them, there's no point. Um, let's move on to the next Alex drawer. All right, so, okay, here. Just a quick look at what our basket's looking like. I'm gonna stop putting stuff in the basket now. All right, um, I think this drawer's pretty much, okay. No, this drawer's not good. This one's just foundations above it, and then the one above, like, this one's just foundations. This one's just brushes, mirror primers. But this next one is, like, face stuff. I'm going to kill her. Oh gosh, don't fall. Don't fall, camera. <gasps> don't fall, camera. I'm going to dig back here and declutter the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. I tried it. It was okay. I think I just swatched a highlighter and nothing else. I don't think it matches my skin tone perfectly, so it's going to go. It smells delicious, though. Um, I don't think there's anything else back here that I'm going to declutter. All right, I'm out of room in this drawer. I'm out of slots. I've been stacking stuff double in here. So it's time to part ways with some of these things. Um, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do. I'm going to declutter the Too Faced Natural Lust Bronzer. It's new to me. It just wasn't for me, but it's so freaking pretty and it smells so good. 
Um, I'm gonna part ways with. Oh no, it's so pretty, but I never use it. I never ever use this. On um, the Jessica Rabbit and Ciate London highlighter, it's so beautiful. The pan is so beautiful. The packaging is the most gorgeous thing ever. But I can't keep something just because it's pretty if I'm not using it, right? Right? This. But this cover is so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm not using it. I'm not using it. I'm gonna throw out this NYX contour duo. It's just old. I'm just gonna throw this away. I'm going to declutter this Milani 06 Moon Glow Highlighter. It doesn't look like I used this ever. And I don't remember using it. So it can go. Clearly, I don't need it. I'm going to declutter this Lorac Spectra Blush. Um, it has the cutest little opening lid. Like, it's such a thin little lid to open. But I never reached for it. And I have other blushes this kind of tone that I like more. So I'm going to declutter this one. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to declutter the Zoella and Colourpop blush in Soulmate just because I have other ones that I like. I just kept this for the longest time for the packaging because it's super cute. Uh, this is the Ofra blush in Cosmo. It's just kind of intense for me. It's really, really pretty. It is so beautiful. But if I really, really needed this intense of a blush, I could dip into an eyeshadow. So I'm going to part ways with this. I think I'll use it twice. Let's see. This is the Fetish Blush by Urban Decay. Is it similar to Aura or Corda Rosa? No. Not at all. What shade do I like more between these two? I like them separately. <laughs> okay. Um, let's keep the Urban Decay ones together. Glazed Donut by, Ur by Kofra. Not going anywhere ever. I use it all the time. All the lights. I had to repress this one so I don't think anybody would want it so I'm going to just keep it because it just came broken. Uh, this one is Soho. This one also came broken and I had to repress so I'm just going to keep it. Yeah. I did not do very well. I'm going to get rid of this little art, this wet and wild one because I have a Too Faced peachy one. I don't think I did very well with these at all. And I'll get rid of this bronzer because I have another. Oh! I'll get rid of both of these bronzers. The Milani one and 01 and the 01 Cool Makeup Revolution. I just don't reach for them. I've been reaching for this Laura Mercier one lately, which is like. I don't know. It's an okay bronzer. I got rid of a couple. I think they need a little bit more room, but it's not like the greatest room ever. And down here is just like my go-to palette drawer. Like these go-to palettes that I picked out for the month. Like, like these that we have picked out for the month. These are the ones I picked. So since we started the month off, we added the Bye Bye Birdie. The mini controversy palette. The regular controversy palette. Or the conspiracy palette. I just got this one on this ColourPop one. So I'm going to try this out. It's called Love Bird. I haven't tried that out yet. We got the new center stage. It's not new. It's new to me. We got center stage. I bought it from Riley Rose. Um, yeah, I don't think anything in here has to go anywhere. Actually, I don't need all of these little $12 palettes from ColourPop because there's no way I'm ever going to have all of the $12 palettes from ColourPop because they just released too many. Like when Color Stop, ColourPop just first started doing eyeshadow, I was trying to collect every ColourPop palette, but that's stupid. So let's, I know there's a couple in here I don't use. Let's go through them. I just got Smoke Show, so I'm keeping it because it's brand new. I haven't even used it yet. I'm going to keep Ooh La La. Um, main Squeeze can go. I don't need this color scheme. Soul in the new packaging. I bought it in the new packaging after I had the old one because I just wanted to match the, like, the new stuff. It can go too. I don't need it. I didn't even use this one. Yeah, this is like I didn't even use the new packaging. Mar can go. 
because I'm definitely going to reach for blue blood palette if I reach into these blue colors. Lilac You A Lot was so cute. I'm going to keep this for a while. Uh-huh, honey. Obviously a stain because I love your eyeshadow. Blue Moon is relatively new. I'm going to keep this one. I had to think about it. Just My Luck. I don't think this has a neon green in here. No, it really doesn't. I'm going to keep it for this lime one in the middle. Um, the It's My Pleasure purple one can go. I don't really wear purple eyeshadow. No point. And I'm definitely getting rid of the Proceed with Caution, which is a Shayla collab, which she's so beautiful and I adore her. Why can't I open these? I'm trying not to break nails off, you guys. <laughs> but even though it has a yellow in here, I haven't used this thing once. I think I swatched two or three shades. But <sighs> now that I look at it, I really like it. Now I'm wondering why I haven't used it. Alright, fine. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it anyways, even though I haven't used it yet. Eventually I'll put it in a month, then I'll use them. So I'm keeping... Seven. Keeping seven of these. Little $12 palettes. And I got rid of four. So that's pretty decent. Alright guys, so for the Bright Lights palette, which is in a maybe pile... I'm just going to keep it for now, and if I don't use it in the next three months, then get rid of it. And our next one, and then the Best May one, the same. I'm going to figure out how I feel about it, and like actually give it a shot first for a declutter, even though I don't really feel a draw to use either one of these palettes. I'm going to keep it for now. I do use declutters pretty regularly. So um, this is what we decluttered today. I will also have all, like, all the brand new stuff, like the bundles and stuff, like things I got from subscription boxes or whatever listed on Depop so you don't have to buy a bunch of little things and spend a whole bunch of money on shipping if you want a big bundle of stuff. Um, but this stuff will just be listed on my Poshmark. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. hope this helped you maybe want to declutter your makeup collection a little bit. I just feel like I have so much and then now I have a little bit less so I can actually focus on what I use and what I have. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye!